Hi everybody, it's Dr. Timothy McCall. Welcome to the Yoga of Tennis YouTube channel where we use the practices and principles of yoga to help you play better tennis. Today we're going to talk about the tennis stance. Now a tennis stance is something like the position that you may know from the split step. But there are certain things we're trying to do with our knees, with our feet, and with our spine that I want to discuss and which will prove to be very important as we build toward what I call the energetic blueprint of tennis. As we start to learn how to do this maneuver as part of our practice, you can see that my knees are bent. Exactly how much they bend can vary, but in general, we don't want our knees to get much farther forward than the kneecaps hovering just over the toes. That's a safe alignment. Once the knees start to go past the toes, you may feel some pain, and that's when shearing forces uh, can be dangerous in the knees, the cartilage in the knees. So we want to be careful there. But now holding this kind of pose, and again, as we did with goddess pose, and if you haven't watched the video on goddess pose, you may want to go back and watch that. But as of goddess pose, we're going to turn the feet slightly out, externally rotate the thighs, so that the hips, knees, and feet are all in a pretty much straight line, which is very kind to the joints. Now in Qigong and various martial arts, they'll do something called horse dance, where they may stay for 15 minutes or 45 minutes or longer, just holding this semi-squatting position. And if you haven't been accustomed to squatting for prolonged periods of time, you're going to want to work your way up slowly. Probably practice this every day to some extent, maybe just starting with 30 seconds or a minute, and then slowly over the weeks and months, building up how long you stay in the pose. But ultimately, when you're playing serious tennis, you're going to want to be able to pretty much live in this semi-squatting position because it is advantageous for low balls, for the split step, and many other things that we're trying to do on the tennis court. Now, there's a position that in the Alexander Technique, which is a postural education system, they refer to as monkey position. I just call it tennis stance. And basically, it's the same position I'm showing. The crucial piece is that the spine is upright. Now, upright doesn't mean perfectly straight. Let me demonstrate the way I suggest you practice this tennis stance. So again, feet turned out, thighs turned out, knees no farther forward than the toes. And we're going to establish your giant breath. And again, if you haven't, watch the video on Ujjayi breath and you don't know how to do Ujjayi, aka ocean breath, please review that video. So, inhaling, exhaling, making that sibilant sound, and then every time you inhale, slightly deepening the knee bend, every time you exhale, lessening the knee bend. Now, this turns out to be a very advantageous position from which to move our body in different directions as we would when we're hitting a ball. So for example, if we're twisting our torso, can you see how this leg position kind of is a natural for it? This preparatory position, this tennis stance, 
allows us to get low, it allows us to go to the side, it allows us to go to the other side, so it's a very useful position. And by the way, when you're wanting to learn this stance, you can try to start incorporating it into some of your daily activities. So, say for example, you're going to wash dishes. You could just stand over the sink and kind of bend forward as most people do, but this is terrible posture. You're flattening your lumbar spine, you're rounding your upper back, not what you want to be doing. But if you're in this tennis stance, you can bend the knees and you can just lean the spine forward from the hip joints. In other words, we're not bending the spine, we're not curving the spine forward, we're actually keeping the spine with its normal lower back curve, normal curve in the neck, and we can do the dishes and we can put the dish in here. And this is all done in this posturally very advantageous position. So again, standing, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. It's a lot harder than it looks, but this is necessary medicine to be able to get down low for balls with your spine upright. If you start watching the pros and noticing this, you'll see that they can be very low for a ball that they're hitting, and yet they've got perfect spinal posture as they do it. The knee is not coming forward of the toes on the front leg, the back leg, they may drop the knee down, but again, that's not a dangerous position for the knee. We don't want to be bending that front knee too much. We want to avoid those shearing forces, keep our knees healthy to help us get around the court skillfully. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel or hitting the bell notification to help us spread the word on the Yoga of Tennis YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Take good care. Namaste.